Hi, uh, Mark McRae here for Inaxis Security Systems. Um, now I'd like to go into explaining a little bit um, the connection between a reader and an access control controller. So that is done via wire, of course. So th these are wired in between the controller and the reader. But there's two different ways to connect uh, between a controller and a reader. And absolutely there is one that's better than the other. So uh, for years, uh, since, you know, as long as I've been in the industry for 35 years, there's been a, a communication protocol or a way to communicate between a reader and an access control controller that's called Wiegand. Uh, it uses what is called a Wiegand effect. Um, but there's, an, there's an, a, a built-in problem, um, a built-in issue with Wiegand, is that it is not supervised. That's the primary problem. Uh, so number one, it's not supervised, so someone can tamper with the reader and someone can remove the reader from the wall and the system will not know because it's not a communication protocol, it's actually just voltage is what it's doing, okay? Um, so number one, uh, Wiegand has a problem, it's not supervised. Number two, um, Wiegand communicates over a pair of wires that we call D0, D1. It's this uh, uh, white wire and this green wire that's behind our readers, so D0 and D1. Um, but all these readers do is they are at five volts all the time and when there, there's a read, it will drop down uh, to zero volts, the, called, which is also called a bit. Um, so going from five volts to zero volts is a change of voltage and if you have the right equipment, you can actually read this change of voltage off the back of the wire. Really, really, really not secure. So if I can use a device to easily read the change in voltage, then I can reproduce that change in voltage to copy a card or to imitate a card, okay? So really not secure. Um, years back, the entire industry understood that this is a problem. This is a, a security issue that we have that's innate to our products. And uh, a, a group of companies uh, created a new standard called OSDP, Open Supervised Device Protocol, OSDP. And uh, ICT has taken the OSDP standard, uh, inserted it inside of all of their readers. That is the communication that's done over the purple and the yellow wires in the readers. So all of the readers from ICT are both Standard Wiegand, in case you're using a system or want to use a standard Wiegand, which we do not suggest, uh, but also uh, support OSDP. Inside of ICT, we call it ICT RS45, because OSDP actually uses as a communication layer the RS45 standard. So uh, uh, the, the way of wiring and the communication between a reader and a controller is practically identical between RS-45 and OSDP. So we definitely suggest that everybody who's doing a system now, if you're doing a new system, unless you're reusing old wire that was wired uh, uh, using uh, Wiegand wiring or D0, D1, standard Wiegand wiring, uh, we definitely suggest that you go towards OSDP readers and OSD uh, communication protocol. That way you can have an end-to-end -end encryption from your card by using Desfire or Desfire EV1 or EV2 cards onto the readers so it, it is encrypted between the card and the reader and then between the reader and the controller if it's OSDP slash ICT 485 then there's an encryption and a supervision between the reader and the controller and with ICT we add another layer of encryption between the controller and the software we encrypt the communication between the controller and the software so with ICT it is end-to-end -end encryption from the card all the way to the keyboard where the operator is using the system um, hopefully that was clear um, if you can we would like you to like and so subscribe to our video. We're trying to build a community of, of, of information for technicians, for installers, for end users to better understand the security industry. So if you can like and sub subscribe, uh, we would really appreciate it. Thank you. I mentioned in my earlier videos that we had lots of stock and this is one of the biggest problems in our industry currently is lack of stock of cards and of readers and as you can see I wasn't fooling around these are all just simply key tags um, these are all the different formats key tags remotes 
uh, different types of readers that we have. Uh, these are 125 kilohertz readers. These are combo readers. Uh, down here we have some standard size Desfire MyFair readers, standard size 125 kilohertz, uh, wristbands, more readers of the mini size, the smaller size of the readers. Um, our Desfire EV2, Desfire EV1 cards, 125 kilohertz cards. So we have all of the stock that you need. We currently have it in stock in Montreal. So uh, we would love to work with you on all of your projects. And, uh, and uh, uh, MyFair Desfire, Desfire EV2, we can help you out. The highest uh, security available in the marketplace. We have stock. Uh, contact our sales team at sales.nexus.com. Thank you.